These are the key concepts of this lesson. Drinking water contamination, saltwater intrusion, and groundwater flow and storage. Let's examine how saltwater intrusion works with this diagram. Here we have the water table, an unconfined aquifer, the sea water, sea level, a confining layer, and a confined aquifer. As water travels towards sea level in an unconfined aquifer, salt water can seep into the aquifer above the confining layer. Thus, a mixing zone is created with denser salt water resting underneath the unconfined aquifer. Fresh water in the confined aquifer can also seep into the ocean, creating submarine seepage. To simulate salt water intrusion with the tank, add salt to a water bottle. Then add water with food dye and shake the bottle until the salt dissolves. Now extract water from the bottle using a pipette attached to a thin tube. Insert a glass rod attached to the tube into the side of the tank and lower it. Slowly inject the blue salt water solution about one third of the way up the side of the tank. The salt water will sit under the fresh water because of its density. Insert a tube to outlet one and turn it downwards into a water jug for best results. Now using a pipette, pump water from the outlet closest to the side of the tank with salt water. You will notice that the pumped water is blue, indicating that the salt water intruded into the unconfined aquifer. We can also simulate groundwater movement. Combine red food dye and water. Use a syringe to extract the red water, and then inject it into one of the observation or injection wells. Over a long period of time, you will observe that the red dye moves in a curved path. This is similar to how groundwater moves through an actual unconfined aquifer.